Channel 2 Investigates broke this story months ago, and it has since made national headlines. A passenger suing after he says a United Airlines employee pushed him down. Now that passenger is speaking publicly for the first time, describing the moments that led up to that violent confrontation. Investigator Bill Spencer joining us now with more of the interview you saw first on 2. Bill? That's right. Bill and Sarah, this now infamous episode at the United Airlines counter at Bush Intercontinental Airport has captured national attention, but we first broke the story weeks ago. Now we are hearing directly from the man who claims to have been victimized by United Airlines, Ronald Tigner. He says he was pushed to the ground, suffered a concussion, and it could have been a lot worse. I may either have been killed or brain dead. This is 73-year-old Ronald Tigner talking for the very first time about what it was like being pushed to the ground by Alejandro Anastasia, a United Airlines customer service rep. I walked up, I said, I need some help. The lady said, sir, I've, we are busy. We, we are, we, you've interrupted us. Tigner says it all began after he asked Anastasia and a female United employee to help him print a new boarding pass. He was smiling and smirking. And so I told him, you know, I really don't appreciate the smirking. And all of a sudden he said, I'm going to kick your bleeping backside. Except those were not the words he used. And I was past him and all of a sudden he just goes like that. And... You know, the next thing I remember, well, I remember sort of stumbling back, and then I remember falling, and I remember hurting. You know, I'm not going around pushing elderly people. But Anastasia says Ronald Tigner is the one that started it all by shouting profanities and racial slurs. I used absolutely no racial epithets. I made absolutely no threats. Tigner denies all of that. He has filed a $1 million lawsuit against United, and he says more than two years after the incident happened, United has yet to apologize directly to him. No apology. They've told the press that they've apologized to me. That is a falsehood. Now we contacted officials at United for comment about this story. And if this statement you're about to hear sounds familiar, it's because it is. It's the very same statement they sent to us after our last story on Monday night. It reads, quote, as this is an ongoing legal matter, we are unable to discuss beyond what we've previously shared. Again, Tigner is suing for one million dollars. All right, Bill, we know you'll continue to follow it. You bet. Yes, and Bill Spencer was the first to show you that video back in June, and he has been following the case very closely and breaking new developments ever since. You can watch all of his past reports right now on clicktohouston.com. Just head to the investigate section.